Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Microsoft has announced two changes regarding Outlook.com and Microsoft 365 that will be taking place next year in 2023. So if you are using Outlook.com, be that with a free personal account, or if you are signed up to Microsoft 365 and subscribe to Microsoft 365, both these changes next year will be affecting you. Now, the first is changes to personalized email addresses in Outlook.com. So if you have a custom domain, a custom email address, then you may find this of interest. Now, Microsoft mentions that starting next year, the 30th of November, 2023, Microsoft 365 personal or Microsoft 365 family subscribers will no longer be able to create a new personalized email address associated with your Outlook.com mailbox. And that means you've got just over a year before that change takes place. Now, Microsoft also has mentioned that if you already have a personalized email address in Outlook.com, Nothing will change and you will you can continue using it without any disruption to your email service. But after the 30th of November next year, if you remove your personalized email address from your Outlook.com account, then obviously that change will affect you and you will not be able to add it back. So just take note of that. Now that's the first change. And I think the second change is actually going to have the most impact and affect the majority of users, especially those who are signed up to... Um, Microsoft using a free personal account because when you have a free personal account you have only got five gigabytes of storage across your different Microsoft products and services and if you just head over to the changes to Microsoft 365 email features and storage I've already gone through that first change and that first announcement regarding personalized email addresses and the second now is changes to cloud storage now Microsoft mentions that starting February the 1st now next year 2023 Cloud storage used across Microsoft 365 apps and services will include Outlook.com attachments, data, and OneDrive data. So your attachments now in Outlook.com, um, especially if you are a free user because you only have 5 gigabytes of storage, um, will be added now to your storage quota, which is only 5 gigabytes. Now, they say here that this update will not impact your Outlook.com mailbox storage amount. However, this may reduce how much cloud storage you have available to use with your OneDrive as mentioned, which is only five gigabytes. So if we just have a quick look here, what's included in my cloud storage, in case you're unaware. Your cloud storage will include OneDrive files and photos. Um, for example, personalized files you store, upload and sync from your computer or mobile device, such as office documents, um, mobile camera rolls, screenshots and other files and photos. And these will be saved to your OneDrive, as many of you may know. And then any items in your recycle bin. And now we have the new um, change, Outlook.com attachments are also added to that now. And then Teams message attachments and recordings. So just take note of that. And I think the main change here would be that to the cloud storage, where if you are using that personal account um, and Outlook.com, your attachments now will be um, added and included in your storage quota now for your OneDrive. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.